conflict between Israeli forces and Hamas militants is escalating in the worst violence seen in the region in years. Hundreds of rocket and airstrikes have left more than 40 people dead, with the United Nations Middle East envoy warning hostilities are moving towards a full-scale war. The deadly fighting follows weeks of near nightly protests over forced evictions in East Jerusalem. Joining me now from Tel Aviv is journalist Sarah Coates from I24 News. Thank you very much for your time. What's the latest news on the ground there? Yeah, good morning, Nat. Well, this region, as you mentioned, is absolutely descending into chaos. We're just on our way back now uh, from Jerusalem. and We've had teams all across the region uh, you mentioned Hamas and the rocket fire, uh, which we experienced here in Tel Aviv last night. Another very sleepless night for residents here in Israel, even from my apartment in Tel Aviv, uh, where the rocket fire barely ever gets to. We uh, we managed to get about just one hour's sleep. Uh, we probably had about three rounds of rocket fire, more than 150 rockets shot over from the Gaza Strip. You can see them there on your screen uh, into Tel Aviv. Most of those rockets intercepted by the Iron Dome missile defence system. Although now the country is really uh, waking up to a different reality today, the reality of shocking violence, which is spreading from the south all the way uh, up to the north, really centred around a lot of these neighbourhoods uh, that have Arab and Jewish residents. We are seeing terrible incidents coming from both sides. We're seeing far right-wing Jews lynching Arabs, and we are seeing Arab mobs doing the same thing on the other side. We're seeing shop windows smashed as our authorities here are calling for calm. And as you mentioned, uh, the UN's uh, Guterres is uh, calling for escalation ASAP. We've got uh, more than 50 Palestinians dead on that side. And uh, just a short while ago, uh, the death toll rose to at least seven here in Israel with the death of a six-year-old boy. This little boy was actually sheltering inside a uh, his uh, rocket shelter there in southern Israel, and the rocket actually penetrated this shelter uh, and critically wounded this little boy. So it's really uh, shaping up to yeah. be uh, a few more days of a terrible fighting here now. Sarah, as you say, there are, this dome defence system is supposed to protect uh, the city, but, but some of the rockets are getting through. Explain to us from the ground there what it is actually like to experience a rocket strike. Mm. Wow. Well, I've been in one before, but it was literally one or two rockets coming over. Last night, I'd just come off air. We we heard the, the sirens. So Hamas basically said to Israel, if you do not remove these uh, security forces from the Temple Mount by 6 o'clock, we will start shooting rockets. So they started shooting rockets uh, into the south around 6 o'clock. Then they said, if you do not uh, adhere to these other demands by 9, we will start shooting at Tel Aviv. Now, our studios, uh, we, if you look that way, that is Tel Aviv. We are in Jaffa, just through there. So the rockets actually come from the south, which is that way, right over the hill, and uh, they were on time. Two minutes ahead of time, actually, Hamas began shooting uh, a barrage of rockets into Tel Aviv. These uh, rockets were intercepted, most of them, by the Iron Dome missile defence system just above our studio. We were all rushed to a safe room although the booms from these interceptions were just so strong that the, the reinforced windows uh, outside our studios were shaking. Uh, then overnight, uh, I don't even have a rocket shelter, uh, along with many people uh, in my building in Tel Aviv. So they tell you to just lay on the floor, cover your head and uh, wait till you hear the boom. So that's basically what we were doing all last night. And that rocket fire is continuing into tonight and we can expect it to last for the next few days. Yeah, just a terrible situation for obviously everyone there. Uh, you're doing an extraordinary job. Uh, I'm sure your family will be happy to see you on air and, and see that you're safe. Sarah, thank you <laughs> for your time this thank morning. You.